and today I have uh, a guest on. He's got a great company. And he told me he's looking for ideas from people like you. And I cannot believe he said that. So, Jeff, welcome to Invent My TV. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. So before we start, um, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and about your your company, Dormco? Sure, sure. So I started Dormco in 2010, and uh, literally it started off of one product idea. I could actually say that that first product idea came when I was a senior in college. It was a shelf for students on uh, red bunk beds. And I have uh, I have the first prototype, if you'd like to see it. Yeah. This is it. The amazing shelf. So it would go over the bed post and uh, you put your alarm clock on there. So I don't know, I'm not a carpenter. It doesn't look too good. Um, sister, girlfriend, just had everyone helping me. Um, and from that idea, Everything uh, unfolds to where right now we're an online retail company doing over $12 million annually. And I never would have fathomed it would have started from a wooden bed post shelf. So uh, 100% uh, e-commerce. Uh, and that one product is turning to thousands and thousands of other products. And, uh, and here I am to share the, share the story and looking for other new products and help anybody else out in their journey. Well, thank you very much, Jeff. You know what's amazing? We talked the other day, and you started out as an inventor, basically. Mm -hmm. And so your attitude towards working with us is really remarkable. So I cannot thank you enough. And we'll talk a little bit, a little bit more on why I feel that way. So you specialize in one particular area, and that's for, is it just bedrooms or college kids or dorms? Because it's named Dorm Co. Is that your, is that your niche? Right. So the niche, you know, that bed post shelf was a dorm product. Okay. So once I got into that dorm industry to have that made, developed, I started running into other inventors who had like one item for dorm rooms, seeing them at random trade shows or just being on chat boards or whatever it may be, just, just fighting my way along with these other individuals in the same journey for dorm products. So I realized they had the same struggles as me as big retailers weren't interested in a niche dorm item. And the best thing at that time, obviously, online was, was starting to go crazy and was to start a retail store that could do everything dorm related, uh, not just niche items, of course, like mine and other independent inventors, but your normal items, your, your, your bedding and your other shelving, accessories, trunks, you name it. Uh, so since being in that dorm industry, you know, one thing continuously to another, you know, you start with this one bed post shelf, which is obscure item. Uh, to having thousands of items for dorm, but then you start seeing other things doing well and you start following that. So, for example, the bedding started taking off. Uh, parents would buy our bedding for their students and they'd be, or their son or daughter. They love it. They'd be like, can I get a king size? We'd be like, a king size? We make college size bedding. So it's like when you get enough people asking for it, you're like, well, let's do it. So uh, a few years ago, we launched Be Your Bed. So the letter B and then yourbed.com. And we sell bedding of all sizes. And uh, really our specialty is oversized bedding and making it like beyond plush like crazy like uh, our lead brand there is called coma inducer and it's uh, it's just been taken off for us so started niche and have expanded out from niche okay um what does someone need to do if someone that's watching this this show today and they're an inventor and they've got a great idea they think it's a great fit for you they went to your website they looked at everything that you're doing what do you like to see do you like to see a sell sheet, a prototype, a drawing, a full-blown production sample? What, what do you need to see? Uh, you know, it, it could be it could be a sketch. You know, it, it could be a sketch mm -hmm. on a piece of paper. I don't say napkin sketch, but just just something like say, hey, I have this idea. I want to have this made, and you know, we we love figuring out if we can do it. If we can make it and do a licensing deal with that, that person, that's that's great. And we never like to overpromise, you know, some, some items may not sell a ton of them, but we'll, we'll get it going and at least get that inventor's feet wet, if, if you will, on, on an item or, or getting in that industry. Um, it's tough. You know, we're not going to get it into Walmart target. We have no interest in that. We're online retail only. We sell on our 
two websites, but we also sell on all the majors, Amazon, Overstock, Wayfair. And we're going to do our best to to push it out there, but uh, okay. every item is different. Some of them, you know, we've had from independent inventors are, are really good, and then some, you know, at least we have the ability to test them, and that's why you test, because we're like, wow, that's, on paper it looked great, the price was great, everything was good, and why have we sold five of these things? <laughs> Uh, you know, it's trial and error. Let's talk about the let's talk about the testing because your business model is a little bit different. You could manufacture a hundred items, right? Because you have a relationship with those manufacturers and test it to see if it has legs or not. You don't have to get involved in a hundred thousand units. Is that correct? Right, right. And uh, I I think for anybody to do that is just is scary. I mean, uh, you know, even when we first started. Boy, that that wooden shelf I showed everybody there. I had to get ten thousand units out of plastic. I had to drive around the entire country and literally bang on college bookstores and say, "Please take my product," and and they buy twelve at a time. And it's painful. Um, so we've kind of paid our dues in that respect of having to do that. Now the factories that we are partnered with uh, know what we're doing. They know if it's going to be a hit, they'll they'll let us make a hundred, let us make three hundred or fifty, depending on the item. And uh, if it goes, then then great. They know they're going to get container-sized orders, which is what they look for. Right. Um, and if it doesn't go, well, then they know the next idea is around the corner uh, that we can try. So let's talk about protection. I'm, I'm watching Shark Tank on Friday night, and everybody tells me I need a patent. Do I need a patent? I'm not a big believer in patents. Uh, you know, unless you have the next thing that's going to – I mean, everyone literally is going to steal, and it's the greatest thing ever. But I know every inventor thinks their item is. But the, the only patent I have is for that shelf, and no one, no one was copying a, a, a plastic shelf for bunk beds. Uh, if anything, they were, they were finding ways to go around it or make their own shelf. I mean, if you if you search, you know, bunk bed shelves, I'm sure there's different types of items out there now um, that they don't compete with the patent. They're different. Um, it was a good learning. I chalk it up as uh, I don't know. I didn't get. I went to college. I didn't go to you know postgraduate. That was my postgraduate on on it. So why I wasted that money? But most monies can be better spent on marketing. Um, I'm sorry about that. Marketing, anything, staff, you you name okay. it. Uh, just making a better product than worrying about the protection. Uh, I am a believer, however, in uh, trademarks. If you have a a great name out there, that's that's going to protect you more than anything. Um, okay. So, you know, I, I had, a, I had a, a friend of mine, he, he'd worked at uh, Can Jam. A lot of people have heard of Can Jam. And that patent ran up many years ago. But the name, the name trademark saved them. And then uh, others who tried to come in could make something so similar. But but no one cared about it because it was the name people were searching for. All right, so it has a lot. Of, that's interesting. It has a lot of value. Most people don't think that. But in that situation, it looks like it's, it's very powerful. Um so my audience is watching. They're pretty excited. They've got some great ideas for you. How do they get to you? Um, do you have a direct email that we can have? Yeah, yeah. My, my email is uh, just jeff at dormco.com, J-E-F-F at D-O-R-M-C-O.com. I'm sure you'll, you'll add a, you can edit there as well. We share, share. I mean, I, like I said, we can't promise everything and okay. uh, definitely we'll get back to everybody. Uh, but yeah, we love love talking to inventors and trying to help in any way. I mean, when I was starting, I mean, I was I was a mess. Nobody in my family was in business. I was just reading book after book, watching, you know, every Shark Tank. See, there were no Shark Tanks back then. But, you know, I was just trying to immerse myself in everything. And anybody who had even a, a little bit of knowledge in one area, uh, I was a sponge in trying to, trying to learn because you just – Knowing nothing and starting from that level, I, I understand. So um, definitely, definitely reach out to me, and I'd be happy to uh, – any questions you have, should help you out, and and, and uh, pay it forward if you will. Okay, so I send you an email. I send a sell sheet. Maybe you take a look at it. And I'm waiting for a response in an hour. Is that appropriate? How long does it take for you to get back? Because I'm really an impatient person, Jeff. How long is it going to take? Right, wait. So, yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah, so it could take, you know – could take 24 hours, could take 48 hours. Right. Um, but usually how I kind of do my email is, you know, during the day I need to handle like what's, what's happening with the business, you know, right. 
And then oftentimes what I'll do is in the evening, if I'm free that evening, which is not every evening, I'll re-go through my email and say, what have I missed? Because I had to ignore that during the day to, to handle okay. the daily business. And so then uh, would be the shot of when I get back to somebody. So it's usually strange hours. Okay. Um, but So be a little patient. So you're busy. You're working. you got yeah. a business to run. So be patient. Yes? Right, right, All right, right. right. Pa patience is good. Patience is good. Well, the reason why we met, <clears throat> Courtney had a couple ideas. They looked really smart. She's a young woman. I don't think she ever went to college, though. Yeah. You know, I don't know her background. She reached out to me and said, hey, I'm an inventor. I have these ideas. And um, what do you need made? And I was like, what do I need made? Um, I mean, dorm products, I don't know. And I, you know, I didn't even think a lot about it because usually with any other inventor or person, I've kind of started that conversation. They maybe had an expertise in like a, a field of making a headboard previously or some other item. And I would talk to them and work something out. But this is the case where she came to me and... I, when I said that, kind of off the cuff, I didn't think she'd send anything. All of a sudden, I got a bunch of drawings right. of these ideas. Some of them were insane. Some were usable. And uh, I said, okay, well, let's talk about these usable ideas. And before you know it, I think uh, three or f three items or four items worked out and yeah. got them launched. Um, one's doing pretty good. The other uh, one's to be determined. And the other one is like, you know, that's why we test I don't want to call it bad, but you know that, that's why we test ideas. So you never know. Jeff, thank you very much for coming on. We're going to put up a lot of photographs of some of the products that you're currently selling. We'll, we'll put some information down below, of course, your Great. email. And, and uh, thank you very much for sharing your experience. I really like that you started out as like us. You're an inventor. You came up with a great idea. You, you, you walk the steps. You know what works and what doesn't work. And you found that 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 niche that works for you and it works for a lot of people because your website's beautiful by the way uh, thank you thank you yeah and i could say you know uh i don't even know it was a great product or invention you know it served a little niche need but i was just driven to say okay i i, I gotta come gotta bring it to market and really the once you make the leap it's the doors that open that you would never expect as to where it's come to now i i didn't i didn't have this mega game plan. I'm going to launch a niche item and that's going to lead to a one niche website that's going to lead to another betting website. There, there's no, you know, some level it was just like, I just got to go. I mean, I got to try it. And for me, I, uh, out of college, I'd gotten a job in pharmaceutical sales. I had a good career going. And uh, what I did was I said, well, if I can do great at this career, then I can quit and always go back if I have to. Uh, but I can't 10 years from now go back once it's like too late or once it's, or once, you know, uh, that, that window's missed, you know, I, I, so that's exactly what I did. I, I left knowing I could go back if I have to, but let me try to live scrappy. Let me try to just, let's try it. I've, I've, I've won life. Let's, let's give it a shot. And, uh, there was moments in the beginning where I didn't think it would work out. I ended up, you know, in a, in a mall selling jewelry while I was, you know, launching it. There's a, you know, a lot of backward steps. I think I was stocking uh, Disney movies at one point at a Meyer. Um, I, really, I think people thought I was insane, but I just kept, just kept battling, and and uh, well, and, it, you, and here I am. It worked. But what, uh, did you ever you know. think that from a, from a little product, you would have this? Over $10 million business from a little nightstand that you did. Um, now, I just wanted to start. I just wanted just to, to start, you know, and have, make something little. I was even trying to carve something out like, well, if I sell this many, then I could uh, I could just I could earn, you know, back then, like 20, 25,000 a year, which is the same as my wife was a teacher. I was like, that that's good. Uh, you know, it was had nothing to do about money. It just had to do about like just following the, the dream of of being, you know, an entrepreneur and having a business. And, uh, so no, I never, I never, never thought to that, that level. I, I just, I just knew I needed to get into it. Well, Jeff, thank you very much for sharing your story. Um, everybody that's watching, if you've got a, uh, maybe you've got a, someone in college and if you need some products for the, for the dorm, go to dorm co, right, Jeff? They, you've got all there this. There you go. All yeah. right. And Appreciate if you got a great idea, send it to Jeff down below. Jeff, thank you very much for coming on.
All right. Thanks for having me, Stephen.